Hello and welcome to a C++ tutorial on getting key inputs and doing something with those inputs. Today I'm going to be showing you basically how you could just take the up, down, left, right, and X key from your keyboard and do something with that in a program. Now these values, these ones actually do not come from the ASCII table, this one does. The up, down, left, right ones are actually not on the ASCII table. Um, I'm pretty sure C++ has these ones built in, so I just have these predefined here because I can't really remember this entire table. So any values that are not up, down, left, or right, you can get straight from the ASCII table. So if you wanted to do like W instead of, uh, what is this, W instead of up, then you could use, where's W, right here you can use 119 instead of up. But, um, so yeah, you can copy these down, these are the values that we're going to be using. So how we get started is the first thing I'm going to have this thing do is I'm going to do a char player name and then I'm going to see out enter player name here and then see in player name like that so our player is going to be one character long so then the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a char called key and that's going to be equal to getch and what getch is is it basically just gets all um, keyboard input I, don't, I looked up the definition or like what it actually means and that's basically what I found is that it means basically just get key input and then we're also going to int the key value and that's going to be equal to whatever key is so now that we have that's just going to be for exiting so now the next thing that we need is a while we're going to put while value is not equal to key underscore x so key underscore x is defined as 120 right here so that's its ascii uh, value and it's under get so it's going to get the ascii uh, key value of 120 which it'll find to be x so we're going to run a loop while the user has not typed in uh, x. And so we're going to do a switch under our get here. And then we'll start with case key up. Let's just create all these. Case key down. Case key left. Case key right. Alright, so then what we're just going to say for this one, we're just going to see out um, player name goes up like that, and I'll just do two ends like that, and we can just copy this and change this to down left and right. And then the last thing we need here is we need to reget the key value and the value. So key is equal to getch and value has to be equal to key. And the reason that we do this is so that way it's constantly making sure that key that the value is not equal to x. But once it is equal to x, then it is going to exit. So okay, so now let's go ahead and run this to see if I got any errors. So enter player name, let's do q. And then we could just up. Um, oh, I know what I did. I did not break at the end of this. You have to add these breaks here. So I'm just going to copy this and paste all these like that. Okay, so let's do player name is Q. So play, Q goes up, Q goes down, Q goes left, Q goes right. And then if I hit X, it says press to continue. All right, so yeah, this is how you can get basic key input. Um, Oops. So yeah, that's how you get basic key input from a player. You can use this in like mini games or pretty much all games. You need to get key input from the user. So I'll leave the source code down in the description. I'll also leave the link to an ASCII table, online ASCII table, if you wanna, if you don't wanna use these keys. But uh, yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.